Hey everyone, welcome back to another Reactions with Erin video. In this video, I will be reacting to Sinead. Sinead? I'm guessing that's how you say her name. Sinead O'Connor, Nothing Compares to You. I've heard this is like one of the all-time greatest songs, so I am looking forward to listening to this. It's been seven hours and fifteen days Since you took your love away Your love Since you've been gone I can do whatever I want I can see whomever I choose I can eat my dinner in a fancy Beautiful song. Really sad content because she's going through a really hard time after breaking up with this guy. Without being a doctor, um, I would say she's going through depression. And it's sad to watch someone go through that. start crying mm. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
let's uh, finish this, this song. Beautiful song. So it opens up with this first line, like she knows exactly how long it's been. It's been seven hours and 15 days since you took your love away. I go out every night and sleep all day since you took your love away. Since you've been gone, I can do whatever I want. I can see whomever I choose. I can eat dinner in a fancy restaurant, but nothing I said, nothing can take away these blues because nothing compares, nothing compares to you. So she's talking about all this freedom she has now, but she doesn't want any of it. It's been so lonely without you here, like a bird without a song. Nothing can stop these lonely tears from falling. Tell me, baby, where did I go wrong? I could put my arms around every boy I see, but they'd only remind me of you. I went to the doctor and guess what he told me? Guess what he told me? He said, girl, you better try to have fun no matter what you do, but he's a fool. Cause nothing compares, nothing compares to you. All the flowers you planted mama in the backyard all died when you went away. I know that living with you baby was sometimes hard, but I'm willing to give it another try. Nothing compares, nothing compares to you. Nothing compares, nothing compares to you. Nothing compares, nothing compares to you. Sometimes after breaking up with someone, you, what am I trying to say? Can kind of overlook the hard parts and only remember the good, almost in that love is blind stage. I think that's kind of what's going on here, at least with that last verse. Prince wrote and recorded this song in 1984, but didn't release it. Instead, he gave it to The Family, a band that was signed to his Paisley Park record label. They recorded the song in 1985 with their singer St. Paul, Paul Peterson, handling the vocals. According to Peterson, he was asked to sing it in the style of Prince. To get the right emotion, he thought about a girl named Julie who broke his heart in high school. The family released the song on their 1985 self-titled album, which ended up being their only LP. Their version was never released as a single, and the song was seldom heard until Sinead O'Connor covered it five years later. Peterson would have liked to be the, would have liked it to be his hit, but it wasn't all bad. He ended up getting married to Julie. Prince released a live version with Rosie Gaines on his 1993 album, The Hits, The B-Sides, but his original solo recording didn't appear until 2018 when his estate released it from their vault. His version is guitar-based with more of a rock feel. 
This was a number one hit in 17 countries. In the US, it was one of the top songs of 1990, topping the Hot 100 for four weeks. O'Connor released her version, sorry. O'Connor released her first album three years later. It got a lot of play on college radio, earning her a small but devoted fan base. The song thrust her into the spotlight, and the attention had some deleterious deleterious effects. Never heard of that word. On the singer, O'Connor claimed she hated the fame the song brought her, and that she struggled with the commercialization of her music. Nothing Compares to You earned her a Grammy for Best Alternative Performance, but she refused to appear on the award show in protest of materialism in the music industry. Director John Maybury shot a lot of footage around Paris for the video, but ended up using just a tight, a simple tight shot of O'Connor singing. It was the first time most people saw what she looked like and were surprised that she was bald. She shaved her head when she first started recording because she wanted to make a statement and not be known for her beauty. Oh, but she's so beautiful, though. Hair's not what makes a girl beautiful. When Sinead cried in the video, it was a real tear. In the Rolling Stones' Top 500 issue, she said, I didn't intend for the moment to happen, but when it did, I thought, I should let this happen. In her memoir, Rememberings, O'Connor explained that the lyrics that triggered the tear was, all the flowers that you planted, Mama, in the backyard, all died when you went away. Her mother, who was abusive towards her, died in a car accident in 1985, when Sinead was 18. That day, she removed the photo of Pope John Paul II from her mother's bedroom wall. This was the same photo she famously tore up on Saturday Night Live. Prince wrote, this during a very creative period when he was coming up with a song just about every day. According to his sound engineer, Susan Rogers, he wrote it at his rehearsal space in Eden Prairie, Minnesota, where he vanished for an hour and emerged with lyrics on a notebook. He recorded the song on the spot, playing the instruments himself with St. Paul and Susanna Mel Melvoin, of the family on backing vocals. Eric Leeds added the saxophone part later. There's a few more song facts, but I don't want this song, uh, this video to go on forever, so I will stop there. Thank you guys for suggesting this song. I hope you enjoyed this video. Aaron out. See you guys soon. Bye.